Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode here on Free to Climb. I wish I had enough stuff to do and enough content to put out every single day, every single week, but I just don't right now. Um, but it's still spoonbill season here in Missouri and I am taking a one day trip. I'm driving down right now to Cape Fair. A one day trip. Um, a couple of guys already went down this morning pretty early and we're gonna do a little catfishing tonight and then spoonbill snagging tomorrow so um it's a long three and a half hour drive down but uh as a matter of fact i thought we were going to lake of the ozarks this weekend and the guy's like no we booked it for cape fair and i was like ah oh, crud so it's gonna be fun as you can see it's uh 81 degrees right now such a huge temperature change literally one month later uh, tomorrow is april 15th so um people have been snagging them left and right we've we've gotten calls we've gotten texts we've gotten pictures so i'm hoping and praying that we can at least do the same thing as a matter of fact they went last weekend and was able to pull in 13 and kept seven so really hoping and praying that this weekend it's worth the time the effort the money the drive um I just filled my belly with some amazing sesame chicken from Flavor Gypsy. There's a little commercial ad. It's the, the best. I'm telling you, go get you some. Anyways, so I'm excited. It's going to be fun. We're on our way down, and I'm just now leaving town after the bus drive. So here we go. We're on it. destination uh, I'm gonna go in meet the guys and I might even grab me a bite to eat I don't know we'll see
That might be a keeper. Still alive? Yeah, he was fighting at first. Yes, that's, that's, that's a decent that's size fish. Run? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's keeper. Good. Let's go. Oh, oh. That's awesome. You didn't have to let me go first, but I appreciate it. We've got a few more chances than what you've had this year so far. It's only fair. Appreciate it. No what do you need? Tape measure. It should be better than this year. Or it's in one of these side bottles. 712. Did, that, did it show up on... Your fish finder? 43. 43. We got 47. Almost 48. 47 and a half. There you go. It was 47 inches long. Or what was it? 43. 43 inches long. Close. Are we doing the hook or are we doing the nose? Bill. Bill grabber. We need to come up with a proper name for this. Paddle snagger. What's Paddle nader? Can you? Oh yeah, we're good. It's like 37. Excuse me. Excuse. Didn't mean to throw up on you. Let me take this off now. Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, that's gonna do it for this trip, this round. This probably is my last time uh, spoonbill fishing this season. Uh, it was fun. It was hard. Once again, it's not 
always the easiest thing you're just you're dragging a hook through the water kind of trying to find the best you know through what the fish finder provides for you but weather is another factor you know we we knew there was some storms possible this weekend and it happened it came in and uh we had we sat in the boat for a while it was 82 for a high today we come and sat into the dock for a little while um and the storms blew through and it dropped from 82 down to 70 and down to 63 and the wind jumped over 20 miles an hour so we're headed home we're calling it six o'clock and uh it's been fun it's been a been a challenging year we was able to take home at least uh some meat this year which wasn't a total loss but anyways that'll that'll wrap it up for our spoonbill trip well at least my portion i think these guys might get to go one or two more times so that's going to do it for me spoonbill season probably 2023 uh thank you all again for watching this video if you enjoyed this please like and uh, subscribe god bless you guys and uh be safe we'll catch you on the next one see you